go. Continue. Uh, world map. Yeah, that sounds about right. <coughs> <coughs> Alright. Three, two, one. Hello, everyone. Solar Primal here. Welcome back to uh, Golden Sun. In the last part, we narrowly escaped um, Soul Sanctum. And now. We're on a journey to get back our friends. Friendship! But first, there was something glowing over there. What could that be? Must follow shiny light. Oh. A traveling warrior. And I see you're an addict, too. You're just the kind of fighter I've been looking for. Won't you please take me along with you? I am a Venus Jin named Flint. Well, my name is Flint. I script lines all the time. I must find my comrades. We were separated from each other when the volcano erupted. Maybe you can help gather my friends together as you travel. Hell yeah. If you let me join you, I'll prove it to be, uh, prove to be very beneficial to you adepts. Your synergy is that Synergy? Synergy? Can't remember. Synergy will grow stronger and your adept skills will also improve. You can call us in battle or just use our own power to boost your own. If you call on many of us at once, our powers will work together. What do you think? Will you take me with you? Now, I don't even know why they even bother asking, but absolutely yes. Oh, you'll see. You won't regret it. Uh -huh. There we go. Um, now, let me quickly explain that uh, Jins are very, very helpful in battle coming up. And even, yeah, on the outside, like they, uh, like they mentioned. Um, I'm going to put up a little graphic here and quickly explain why they're important. So we have here Flint, the first djinn we find in the game. He is found just outside of Bale as you're leaving for your adventure. When Flint is used, he's able to do a cleave that can cut stone and has a basic addition to a physical attack. In terms of where you're at in the game, I recommend just keeping this one with Isaac. His attributes are he can increase health by 8 points, PP by 4, and attack by 3. And now we'll continue with this wonderful dex. Now I'll briefly teach you how to use Jin. This is exciting. After bringing a Jin into your party, you may set it to somebody. And I'm not controlling any of this, I'm dead serious. To give your gin to someone else, move it like this. Yeah, I do have to press A to continue. After choosing who will take the gin, you can set it. Setting a gin changes your attributes and maybe even your class. And will probably talk about classes later on. They're not really important right now, since we're so early in the game. When your classes change, the synergy you can use may also change. As you can see, with an Earth Jin, uh, with a Fire Adept, he can use moves like Growth. And that just gets further amplified throughout the game. Anyways, next I will show you how to use us in battle. Each gen has different powers, and yep, yeah, this one I've already explained. Once we are set, you can unleash us to use our powers. So, let me demonstrate the power of my attack, Isaac. Gotta switch them back. Yeah, this is all of them doing it. I'm not doing this. There we go. Get to attack first. I don't think I'm controlling any of this. Nope, I'm not. Choose this command to unleash me in battle, okay? 
Okay. There we go. Press the A there. Oh, it's press A? No, I don't. Okay. That's all you have to do to unleash uh, set Jin. It's very, it's pretty much that easy. And he said, here. and as you can see, he's very powerful. See, when you unleash me, I attack with my mighty stone cleaver. After being unleashed, we Jin will then stand by to be summoned. And there you go, a new uh, little tab opens up there. If you have a standby Jin, you can summon even greater powers. Yep, this is true. See, now we just have one, so it's just this one. And there you go. There we go. And they go even more powerful than when you unleash them. So, they're very handy. See, we Jin can be very useful, can't we? I just said yes. And one more thing. Poor K. After a Jin has been used to summon, it must spend some time in recovery. And after we recover, we can be s we can, uh, we will set ourselves again and be ready to attack. So that's handy. So we go from set to standby to recovery and then back to send. This is the simplest way to use us. Do you get all that? Y you guys get all that? I'm, I'm just gonna assume yes, because if we say no, he's probably gonna explain everything again. Oh yeah, if you want to go learn more about Jins, refer to the help, okay? Which is, if you press select, which on this thing, I don't know what select is. I think it's one that, I'm playing on the Game Boy Player, so it's on the GameCube, and the controller is a GameCube controller, so I'm guessing it's either Y or X. There we go. So there we go. We got our first gin. Exciting stuff, isn't it? It is. So next, let's... Wow, that's already half the video. Sadly. Anyways, let's follow this sort of paper. And oh my god, it's a battle. Let's use a... Oh, he's already... I like that. Let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what he can do. Flare, no, that's... No, he doesn't have a gin either. Uh, just have him attack. Why not? Bam. Okay, there we go. Uh, Alright. So I think we head south. No, okay, that didn't do. There is a town there, but there's something I want to happen. Oh, I shouldn't have used it. Hmm. No, oh, quick, and let's get some flares going on there. Yeah. Well, that's pretty pathetic compared to the amount of damage we were just seeing. Alright. Really? Didn't do it in one? Let's try that again, shall we? Yeah, all right, dominoes. And we gotta level up, fantastic. Okay. I think we head north, something will happen. I could be wrong? Oh my god, the zombie! Let's uh, use this gin, shall we? Bam! Oh, <laughs> really? Did nothing? Okay. Oh, I got us of the hub. Uh, we can't go in here. Okay. Interesting. I think. Eh, who knows? Maybe we did have to go into that one town at the bottom there. Oh, well, we got some uh, some enemies here. And uh, look at that. We can tag all three targets. That's uh, pretty awesome. I think so. Because they all get damage. All of them gain damage is pretty awesome. Yeah, flares. Woo! Woo! Okay. I really gotta stop running in the bowels, or maybe I'll just start cutting them out. I don't know. Oh, here we go. That's what I was looking for. Got a bunch of things going on here. We can't stay in a dangerous place like this. We've returned to Kale immediately. Okay. Bye. Don't know you. Oh, bridge is out. Master Hamlet, this is terrible. The bridge has been destroyed. We cannot continue southward. What? The bridge? Yes, a bridge. Ha, <laughs> bridge. This is awful. 
What are we going to get to Kaylee now? I really gotta stop bringing these out. Master Hamlet, I'm worried about leaving Ivan behind. As fond as I am of Ivan, it is his fault my rod was stolen. What? What? So he's stealing your rod? Ivan has strange powers. Who the heck is Ivan? Oh my god. What's that? Ooh, that's a big icicle. We better GTFO out of here. Wait. GTFO out. Ah, uh, never mind. I got it wrong. So they're gonna head to Lumpa, which is the place we couldn't get into before. Lucky them, maybe they can get in. Fancy pantses. There you go. Clean across. Bye bye. Again. There, now we can walk in here. Well then, welcome to Vault. Um, I'm just going to say this real quick. If you see any door that has this sign, you can get items. This sign means you can get weapons and armor. So, and any place that says in above it is obviously an in. Shocker! Okay, I'm going to pop into here. Let's see if we can uh, upgrade a little bit here. So, you know, wooden shield. I see if a wooden shield helps. Yeah, helps a little bit. Four points. A lot more points than four. Yeah, let's give it to. Yeah, let's do that. Yes. And look at that. They, they automatically sell our items. That's nice. Well, they're both wearing cotton shirts. Cotton shirts, anyone? Cotton shirts? Yeah, might as well. Might as well switch this up here. We got some dough. We got some cash to throw around. There we go. Uh, this leather? Oh, none of them can wear it. How about this leather cap? Ooh, only three points. No thank you. I don't think that's even worth it. Never mind. Okay. Um, you will see... Oh, okay. I better show this real quick. <laughs> Sorry. So when you go to any of these shop vendors, there's a buy, sell, artifacts, and repair option. Repair is if something gets broken, and may see that later on. Artifacts, uh, this guy is obviously out of stock right now. Artifacts can be handy. Um, sometimes you'll find a nice rare, rare, rare weapon, but right now he obviously is out of stock. Same, oh no, this guy has something. I don't understand. Oh, never mind. Oh, I get it. Yeah, so he has one of these, and sounds good, but we don't have the dough for it, and also I don't think any of them actually use that kind of weapon. Ah, let's see, that does... Math hurts my head. Yeah, it's equip it. Yeah. Oh, we get a ticket. Let's give it to Garrett. What's this short... Oh, yeah, they all have short swords already. What's this battle axe do? Hmm. Get some 45. I know this is boring, folks. I know. Um... We have to, oh, we don't have enough. That's that's very disappointing. We're we're literally like that much off, and that doesn't give him a whole lot of damage added. Hang on, I'll be right back, folks. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, folks. Just had, wanted to grind up some uh, monies so I could afford this item for. Uh, with the wonderful Garrett. There we go. Get some money back. Give our tickets over to Garrett. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Let me just reorganize them a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Catch beads. What's catch do? Oh, I missed something. Um. Oh, well, we'll get it next time. Um, so yeah, we're in Vault. I think I've wasted enough of you guys' time for now. Um, oh, I wanted to mention, if you go to where one of these dudes look, looks like a monk, big double doors, yeah, go to this guy, and he's very helpful. Oh, very helpful. Ugh. Okay, see if one of your members uh, 
you know, fall. You know, you can get them revived there, they'll remove poison, and curse, and all that fun jazz. So, yeah. Um, so in the next part, this is the mayor's house, if you can tell by the old man there, because all mayors are old men. Um, we're gonna speak to a few of these people and figure out what's going on, why, why the people, why, why the, that rod gets stolen and stuff, and why those people in the caravan run away, and yeah. Hopefully we can figure all those mysteries out, you know, it's essentially side questing from what we're supposed to be doing. Anyways, this is Solar Primal signing out, and bye for now.